Okay, welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics, the blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. My name is Saiken and we have reached the bonus material by now. The normal run is over and it either had been a success or you guys hated it. In which case I'm recording this for, I suppose, the empty room and my PC alone. Today we're going to do the veteran mode, uh, something that uh, at least promises more difficult missions for so-called supreme loot. And we're going to get some of that supreme loot. Kill seven or more enemies using the Overwatch ability. Check, we get a heavy with us. Locals are immune to disabling shots. All right, check again and we get a supreme weapon mod on top of it we're taking our number one team here and it's a waste and sabotage uh, that should be pretty much it we got sid gabe michaela and quincy tank allison the usual spec supply and let's see how the best of the best are dealing with this optional mission Got a line on a locust emulsion stockpile in the area. You know the drill. Take it out, along with any grubs who come into your crosshairs. Okay, we certainly know the drill. Let's get that mission started. That is the first veteran mission, and I assume they are much harder than the normal missions. It, it's called veteran for a reason, Who's right? Ready to do some damage. Get so. To that target. I'm curious what they are going to throw at us. Go time. Hit them hard. Go time it is, baby. Standing by. Okay, so we got to take that area here. And we got one out of 3 epic cases. And we'll figure out the rest afterwards. Let's first of all get uh, to that area. That's down. One thing that I've learned about On the move. those types of missions is typically the first, uh, the first kind of breach or the first move is always the most difficult sure one. These these first areas here seem super well protected. So for now. Let's just calmly and securely move on. We're going to use that sniper aura actually first. Thanks, Jack. Since she's exposed, let's use the barrier up there. Because that's a great place. We can kind of set up a little nice work, camp Jack. up there. On standby. Whilst Sid could be our frontliner. He's the tank at the end of the day and could take the biggest beating by far. Okay. We haven't even seen an enemy so far. We don't know what we're dealing with. Okay, uh, that is the first wretch. Let's do this shit. On it. Moving up a bit. Got a grenadier and wretch. Okay. Cool, no problem. Scanning now. Okay. Let's just keep that crate here safe because everybody who wants to get in from here either wants to get here or behind that crate. This here is too far to take a shot. There's one way technically to here, but yeah, we will deal with it yep. uh, once that happens. On the other side of the equation. Yes. Problem. Moving out of line of sight. Good, we're moving up. Now it's time, this time for the heavy aura, because that's 50% extra overwatch damage. I owe you 
And that's what we want to do in this mission. Overwatch like crazy. Yeah, in case anyone drops down here, we got some more Overwatch, but I I doubt we're going to be ambushed. Nice, very nice pushback. Watch it. When the Theron marks you, the grubs will hit you with all they've got. Oh boy, there's another Theron. Oh, that is bad news. Gotta interrupt these guys. Wow, what a range. And did he just deal 200 points of damage despite all of our damage reduction? Holy, yes. holy crap. Kicking up dirt. Yeah, guess what? I'm going to regret that, my friend. <laughs> nice. We're not taking shit from anyone. Disciple, Disciple, Drone, Disciple. Okay, what do we, what else do we have? Theron Guard. I don't I like did. the Theron Guard. 33% chance of hitting them. Let's move up. 40%. Still not great, but what we can do is we can activate our to hit aura. Job, we can furthermore Thanks hand assist, over Jack. a little bit extra aim. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Sun so and dry. And we can try to get rid of uh, that guy. Down and out. Good. I would just continue Overwatch because, frankly speaking, that is really the name of the game of this mission. Here. Get five or more enemies with Overwatch. Done deal. Sit in the meantime. Get after it now. Going mobile. Keep up. Needs a bit more support. These guys here most certainly cannot uh, cannot just charge into us. So what Sid will do is Sid will Overwatch in order Keep to get watch. that sweet sweet objective done. Gabe moves up and eventually helps him. Sid is tanky enough he can take it even if they would theoretically hit him once or twice. Not, Not a problem. <laughs> Very nice. He has interrupted them. Next turn we can even move forward. Time to get to work. Standing by. Okay, do we have that extra action? Yes, we do. Nice. Moving. Moving up. And that's two Overwatch, Overwatch shots right there. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a bit unfair because we I'll are go. a sort of Overwatch specialized team. Ready. And by sort of, I mean we do have a lot of Overwatch, um, Overwatch users within the team. Going out. Just a bit of extra damage. That downed another one of them. Okay. <sighs> On 
On the lookout. Okay. Wait, 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 what is that? Oh, that's a torque bow. Um, yeah, we're going to pick that one up. Unfortunately, we're out of uh, actions, but that's okay. Still got one interrupt here, and we should be fine. Everybody else is in, in good cover, and Sid is taking the brunt of the heat here. I want to rethink that. That guy's down to 17 hit points. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do we really need to soften them up? Potentially not, to be honest. We're in Ready. a really good spot here. Okay. Okay. This guy would die with an overwatch and over here. Let's just reload. Still can uh, use a bit more ammunition. On it. Let's pick up the loot. We're putting an aura down there. I and we're just Jack. making ourselves invisible. Later, Jack. Acknowledge. Do we really need to shout? Potentially not. We're actually fine. Fine as is. Keep it wide. Over okay, we're not fine as is. Affirmative. Just moving into Overwatch. Unfortunately meant that he would actually move Look to the side. Go ahead. Just wanted to play some nice little Overwatch nice over open. here. Can you pick that one up, please? Thank you. And just to make a lasting impression. There we go. Everybody is low on hit points now. Good. I think we have all of our kills now. Yep, kill seven or more enemies. That's great. Which means I would yep. like to feed the other kills, if possible, to Diaz. Because he's typically the one who does not get enough heal uh, kills. So that's number one. And next turn we're going to eliminate uh -huh. this guy there. Right. Orders. Right. 
everybody moves up. I think we gotta wait a few turns until the cooldowns are ready. And then I think we're pretty much uh, good to go. Let's see what they got. Scratch one grub. All right, we gotta wait until the poison is uh, down. What's next? Watch me go. The damage is higher than expected. I mean, we got hit once and assist, uh, with the, one of those torque bows and it was like 250 points of damage uh, on 90% 90, 90 damage reduction. So these must be an insta kill against anything other than Sid. And then we got hit out of cover from that normal disciple and that was another easily 400 hit points worth of damage in the overwatch okay so the veteran missions definitely uh, are punching in a different weight class but maybe they are also expecting you to eventually get up to level i don't know seven eight or nine And now the objective is eliminate every single one of them. Good objective. I like it. Good core question. What are we dealing with? So we got another case uh, there. We got quite a few sniper drones. Uh, they need to be de dealt with immediately. No clue where that last crate might be located. As per the usual, I'm having problems finding these uh, things. For now, let's go on with that yep. crate. We could charge in. But that's eventually a bit too risky. Standing by. Those guys might come down. What do we have over here? Theron guards, uh, they are a problem as well. Try to take the high ground over here. Not the worst idea. Jack gives everybody extractions. Great job, Jack. And then eventually turns himself invisible. See ya, Jack. Oh, there is the last crate. Hitting the road. Good, we can overwatch to here. Uh huh. That would be a full sprint. This here would be in sniper, in sniper range. Not sure if we want to do that. There, there is a bit of line of sight through here. One of these guys are melee combatants, so we could theoretically also move in here. Or alternatively, hey. we're just doing an. Uh, we're just holding the position here. That's a great position for the sniper. Heavy here. I'm ready. exposed Baron guards are not allowed to shoot into our direction here we go. I think here this is almost the best we can get for now
that's pretty far away. I will uh, hold on with a torque bow for now. But what we can do is time to up your game. Already move her up further. Left down. Let's see if she can actually eliminate these guys here. The action economy will be tricky. But if we can crit, this is going to hurt a lot. Let's go. This guy here will be safe for now. Good ultimate shot. Let's kill this guy. That resets our uh, mm, that resets our action economy here. Guns going dry. This is a free reload. Out of ammo. There we go. I love the build. It is strong. You can say what you want about it, but one character just coming in and effectively with one action and just cooldowns eliminating that entire thing. Crazy. And to make matters worse, we're just searching her so she can do it next turn again. I'm doing that now so that the cooldown is done faster. Affirmative. Whew. That is a very aggressive start to this mission. I'm surprised about myself that I would go in so aggressively. Disrupt keeping them, them nicely at bay. There is a sniper over here. Careful. That's a pretty nasty move. Because it prevents us from just moving up there and we can't simply explode it. Okay, so far so good. Lots of enemies. All right, snap to it. I'm here. Good. I don't. I don't deal with people in cover. We're moving over for some extra damage bonus. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. There we go. And Overwatch Aura. Good, we got our cooldowns back, so might as well use them. Oh boy, 
Really? Concentrating fire. Got one. Actions refilled. Unfortunately, one is gone for reloading. Hate to see it. I get the job done. And we're overwatching over there. Fantastic. Good. Go ahead. Moving. Moving up. Heavy is moving up as well. Jack provides both of them, both of them, with damage reduction. Nice work, Jack. Very good. Okay. On Overwatch. Two Overwatches in this direction. One Overwatch up here. Yes. <clears throat> On route. Worth the effort. He has collects, and I think what we could do is <clears throat> we could move up here. And when the Theron guards come out next turn, we can hopefully kill both of them. So we've got two cooldowns left over. Good, we're moving all the way up here for some extra crit chance. Then this here should disrupt both of them. Need ammo. Very well. All right, let's do this. Action handover. Standing by. I'm listening. 100% crit chance. Oh, that will be a kill. Yeah, decent enough, I suppose. Good. We're running hot here. Any form of movement of those two will be punished immediately. And we gotta spread out a bit more. They certainly have the better position up there. Taking position. Spread out. Drop them. Bring it Good. on. Overwatch. Right. 
And to be honest, better safe than sorry. I don't want to take any shots here. You or me, asshole. Good. Taking I'm some nice little overwatch so that that grenadier can't really do anything. Jack hides Jack's and broke. we're good. Looks like a solid turn. We have dealt with all of uh, the big threats. Not your lucky and the Grenadier, with its ease of being interrupted, in my perspective, is not Take the biggest threat. Yep. Not sure how much damage the uh, the grenade will will do, but we're not looking for hey. epic equipment, anyways. We're looking for legendary and above. Need ammo. Won't be getting up from that. Gonna reload. Right. All right, Diaz takes a couple of target. shots. Kill confirmed. Ammo's in. Hitting the road. And I think we're pretty much done over here. Back in heat. The moment that that Therengar dies, which is eventually right now, there's no one left. Yep. I think that is it. The mission did feel, the beginning felt a bit harder, but I might have just played it in a stupid way. But. The remaining missions, uh, or the remaining mission, actually did not feel that much harder. It was pretty much on par with what we've seen beforehand. Cool. 10% accuracy, and I think zero in was the ability to automatically gain um, uh, gain a hit bonus with it, and hit to hit bonus when you are missing. So the ability that Jack gives and zero in, no clue if they are stacking, but if they were stacking. That would be fantastic. Like, miss shot and you immediately get 40% accuracy for the next one. That would be quite good. Combine that with action economy and you are good to go. And look at that. Promotion right here. Finally, our first level 7 character. Great. Can't wait to see the legendary. Power handle crit chance and damage i think that that is for the heavy gun and crit chance is never bad crit in this game is one of those busted stats can we theoretically skill him okay from now on all skill resets are for free cool if we had a few more points i think ultra shot is great and that heat up uh, mechanic is also good so we currently have that and that we would get into the reckless shot uh, part two and we would need to scrape off two points um, which could be either uh, cooldown reduction when we enter Overwatch. Hmm. You know, did that really matter that often? I mean, yeah, sure, for the grenades, of course. So that's actually a good skill. Damage reduction is also not too bad. I also like healing anchor potentially completely irrational if you play on insane difficulty but i remember that one time where he uh, survived with like 30 or 40 hit points and he had 
uh, that um, that uh, defensive anchor. So I wonder if it's really worth uh, trading this off. On the other hand, heat up is great. The maximum stack increase isn't bad either. Catalyst is cool because you would he would get two um, points. I mean, heat up is good, right? And the reckless shot would get up from thirty to forty percent. Same cooldown. That is not the best uh, upgrade. Oh, it's critical hit hit chance, not critical bonus. Well, it's actually a decent up upgrade. Combined with the reduced um, cooldowns uh, when overwatching, means that the uh, shot is up relatively often. Suppressing fire um, never fully convinced me, but you gotta skill through it. This quick overwatch, uh, counter push, and slayer, these are really good abilities. So on the other hand, ultra shot is fantastic. So something's gotta go we could have ultra shot and slayer together but at the expense of less loss of 20 percent uh, damage reduction and loss of the healing anchor and both of it was not too bad i like dig in i'm wondering if we should do kind of another in between a level like one where we're grabbing the good buffs this time heat up for instance which is a good one for free and 25 percent damage bonus you gain 15 percent critical hit chance after taking damage during the enemy's turn okay i can see that anchor increase to five Catalyst isn't bad either. The Anchor, I think, could be a good talent, but that strategic positioning here is better. Yeah, we don't need the Explosive Shot upgrade. I've played through this one here. I am all interested in Ultra Shot, but I think I'll stick with kind of that one level upgrade here. And what we could do is the Dig In sometimes comes, uh, comes in handy. Uh, when you can give everybody that 15% uh, bonus to hit. Definitely the 25% damage bonus come in handy when he starts uh, going to town. But I feel that having two activatable skills that both cost the skill points potentially a bit too much. So I'm wondering if we're just going anchor and heat up for now. The other option is, this one here was also fun, um, but in order to get uh, Fury, we would need to get rid of strategic positioning, takes a shot at a target that is not in cover of length, 15% crit chance, and that's almost always the case when someone ran into our Overwatch. This is great, but not uh, good enough uh, and the specialist tree with the streaks is cool i like the ability i also like the idea of redeploy which by the way is a nice uh, cooldown in itself but not worth it so let's go with heat up because i've made my decision that that is um, that is really helpful now it's just a question of more anchors or deeper into the uh, reckless shot tree this here seems like a marginal upgrade on the other hand um, if you have a 100% crit chance, that's cool. This here looks like a tiny bit of a better upgrade. Five, uh, five uh, stacks are good. Explosive shot, mm -mm. this is okay, but we don't use it often enough. 15% critical chance after taking damage during the enemy's turn potentially also doesn't happen often enough. So we're going with the passive uh, bonuses. Um, and that's all we can do for now. Still a good build. I like it. Eventually, eventually we will need to look into how we're dealing with it. This build here is great the way it is. I like it. 
I wouldn't want to change it. Sits build. Yeah, the badass is good. Uh, Intimidate really works well. Uh, the bayonet uh, works well. I think we're now waiting to get all the way up to breach. Which is another really cool cooldown if you if you're in the thick uh, thickest and you can uh, breach, and everybody else gets actions and can heal off of the enemies. That's really good. Uh, potentially even better in my perspective is this charged up here because cooldown reduction is king. Um, I I like that a lot. So there is also nothing that we can improve here. And finally, what's with her skill uh, tree? To be honest she just seems to work i really like every single skill up here uh, the elusive one um, saved us a couple of times from not getting hit so that 40 percent more difficult uh, difficulty to be hit is great this damage bonus is good second chance is decent we could maybe go without it that here is fine yeah that here is fine that's the alternative um here are a couple of nice passive bonuses and i think the moment that we level her i would like to go uh, get deeper into into weak spot first blood was an interesting like this skill tree this marksman skill tree was interesting to play so i can see that both together might be great but it is hard to argue with the performance of her in the last mission that anything that she did was not all uh, absolutely over the top so um yeah potentially not going uh, not going to change much that's it for now guys we're going to do the next mission in the next episode and um, we will do loot at the end of the three missions take care thanks for watching and see you all in the next episode Bye bye